happening, people? What's good? Rolling back again. Let's talk tires. So, this is the Mastercraft Stratus. This particular size is a 215 by 55 R17. Now, I chose this tire because I like the tread. I couldn't see the whole tread on the on the picture on the uh, online, but I had a decent feeling that I don't know what that is. I had a decent feeling that uh, this is gonna be a good tire. So I went ahead and purchased it. Tread pattern. We'll start there. So, in the corner, you got these, like, almost zigzag lines. Hmm. Now, they're not very deep. They're not deep at all. But as you come forward, and I think this is to help uh, with uh, water drainage during cornering. As you move towards the other side, the blocks, these blocks right here are raised on one side. Uniformly, so like this one is raised on this end, this one is raised on this end, this one is raised on that end, and so forth and so on. But what some people might not notice is that this block is bigger than this one, it's just right outside. You probably can't see it. Let me see if I can. Another angle. Yep. So if you look, this block and that block are not the same size. So when you have something that's not the same set, two items that are not the same size, at some point that's going to cause friction, which is good. That's good for braking. Water drainage. I'm not quite sure how it's going to get from here, down in this channel, out to here. There's a small slit right there. I'm assuming as you as you drive on the tire that it will open up at some point and if not you still have this line going matter of fact yeah I think this line right here goes all the way through from here it goes all the way through to the corner so as you're splashing through the water it'll just flow through come down here at some point and then go through and like I said you got that one raised end on each block and it's like a a channel an extra channel on each side and these are on the shoulder block so this is going to help you during cornering through the rain which is a good thing you don't want to be trying to turn the corner and, and hydroplane. No, no. We don't want to do that. I also like the fact that this section, I'm going to turn it around, that this section, these blocks are not only curved, but they have a little notch 
right up in there. A little notch. And then slit right there. And when you get to the end of that section, you got a gap in between here. So already I can tell that this tire can handle light snow. Light snow. Heavy snow, I, I have no freaking idea. And then of course you got your blocks right here. There we go. So these blocks also have little group, little lines, little cuts in between each block that will open up as the as the tire wears. And then you got the same thing on this side, on this side of the tire, that's on that side of the tire, but it's in the opposite direction. So that's another good thing. Some tires, they have the same groove pattern going in the same direction. Mm, these, not so much. You got the same grooves on this side that you do on this side, but they're opposite directions. Now the bumps, the little bumps on there, ah, I'm not sure what that's for. Could tell you. Not without doing some research first. Now, as I was saying, this tire is a 215 by 55 R17, specifically purchased for the Chevy Malibu. Yes, but if you have a vehicle that takes a 17 inch diameter rim, these should fit should fit. Always check the sad markings on the tires to make sure the tires that you want to purchase will fit. So this is the information that you'll be looking for. Your tread wear is a 520. That's decent. That's decent. I, I feel like 520 530 and 540 that in the fives are an average tire uh, tire tread rating now it's been said by a couple of uh, YouTube channels that I've watched that the tire tread wear is not across it's not it doesn't go across the whole gambit of tires it's only specific to that particular tire manufacturer so the company that made this tire has another tire has two more tires one compared to this one would be lower and another one compared to this one would be higher but say you try to compare this to uh, a Dunlap tire for instance the tire tread is different. That might be a 600 or a 400. This one is a 520. So you're thinking it's either crap or it's going to be way better. But that's not how they how they, uh, how they rating it. They rating it against a tire, another tire that's purchased, that's made. Excuse me. They're rating it with another tire that they manufacture. So a Dunlop tire versus another Dunlop tire, which one is the best? And in this case, a Mastercraft tire versus another Mastercraft tire, which one is better as far as trade? That's what they're going for. That's what they say anyway. So this has been said, like I said, I this is not me saying this. You can check this out for yourself. It's on the internet. So, uh, traction is at an A. 
so it's supposed to have good traction now I do believe it will have good traction and I say that because as you go press down on the tire on the tread it's kind of got a, a softness to it you probably can't see because my fingers in the way but it's got a little softness to it temperature a a rating double a rating is good every time it doesn't have a double a rating but if it has an a rating it's good it's good to go so you got at least a 520 for the tire tr tread wear you got traction rated at an a you got temperature rated at an a so this thing should get you through spring summer and the fall the winter i i don't know i honestly don't know so we will put these bad boys on ride them through the dirt the snow well not the snow but we're gonna ride them through the dirt gravel streets potholes and all and at the end of the testing we'll take our little road trip and call it a day so Mastercraft Stratus tell me what you think in the comments below if you want to pick you up some of these you can find them on Amazon.com and with that I will see you out on the road.